Let's rewind to the 80s. Meet Ted. He owns a small beverage company that sells smoothies and juices. Ted purchased his first phone, a bulky handset that was in style at that time. His phone provided voice calls with the help of first-generation technology, 1G. For his business back then, 1G was more than sufficient. In a decade's time, Ted's business flourished due to the quality of his products and services. Ted wanted his customers to be loyal to his brand and hence made customer satisfaction a priority. For this, Ted decided to have a dedicated customer support team to resolve any customer issues faster. So, he and his team upgraded to a better phone that not only provided a higher speed, but also enabled services like text messaging and multimedia messaging services. This was referred to as 2G. After two decades of selling smoothies and juices, Ted had now become a leader in this category. So, he decided to diversify and expand his business to other categories, such as soft drinks, coffee, yogurts, croissants, macarons, etc. That meant he now had more products to manufacture and more customers to serve. Ted needed his business to keep up with the competition and grow further without compromising on quality. He was introduced to smartphones that had a good data transmission speed. This technology was called 3G. With 3G in the market, Ted's business benefited a lot more than before, as he was able to reach out to new customers, making them aware of his brand and new products, and solving any issues even better. In the late 2000s, with the internet booming, online business became a necessity. Ted started selling beverages, coffee, yogurts, and a range of other products online. At this point, his company also started brand advertising, and he generated a lot more business data than ever before. He became aware of the successor to 3G, 4G. This next generation of wireless technology boasted better multimedia services, higher speed, and more security. Ted was happy with his new 4G services as he could sell and market his products swiftly. But he thought 4G was sufficient for his business and the maximum the domain of wireless technology could ever evolve to. However, with the enormous data that his company generated and automation at its peak, Ted had to store data in the cloud and transform his manufacturing processes. He was in need of more than just 4G to stay connected in his business. With the huge number of investments in his business and with the world turning digital, Ted wanted a faster and reliable network connection for his firm that could use his business data and sync the machine, tools, and people to raise production and deliver a better customer experience. He did his research and wondered how he could achieve this and how to better facilitate his business online. Just then, he came across the term 5G. Ted learned that 5G could operate as much as 10 times faster than 4G, thereby reaching a peak speed of 20 gigabytes per second. He realized that 5G could really transform his business by using robotics and AI to pick and place raw and processed foods. Robots enabled with 5G could also help him cut, slice, dispense, sort, and package his products. And this is exactly what Ted was looking for. He was intrigued by the term 5G and went on to understand what the hype was all about and how different it was from its predecessors. Ted first learned that any information that he sends or receives in a network is carried through the air with the help of radio frequencies. 5G operates similarly. However, it uses higher radio frequencies to carry more information faster. The beauty of 5G that he discovered was that 5G utilizes multiple input and output antennas to avoid physical objects like buildings and trees coming in the way of communication. Further, he went on to understand that 5G consists of two main components, the radio access network and the core network. The radio access network includes small cells, macro cells, towers, and home systems connecting users like TED and devices to the core network. Macro cells use multiple input and output antennas that enable one to send and receive large volumes of data simultaneously, and small cells complement these macro cells. Meanwhile, the core network of 5G manages all the internet and data connections. The core network is designed to integrate with the internet much more efficiently. The core manages the advanced features of 5G, like network function virtualization and network slicing. Ted learned that network slicing is a wise way of cutting the network into several slices for a specific business or industry. For example, emergency services can work on a network slice independently from virtual reality or a business. All these nitty-gritty and benefits of 5G 
assured Ted that 5G was exactly what his firm needed at the moment to carry out an interactive and hassle-free business online. Thus, he incorporated 5G infrastructure in his company business. So, here's a question for you. Which component of 5G manages network function virtualization? A. Core Network B. Radio Access Network C. Radio Access Network and Core Network D. None of the above Do give it a thought and leave your answers in the comment section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. 5G provides several applications and opportunities across different sectors. 5G will enable connecting more IoT devices and with less latency than 4G. With the advancement of 5G, remote care and remote surgery will be an incredible sight to witness. 5G also can revolutionize public safety. The gaming market will also further expand with the advancement in 5G. These were a few of the applications of 5G across sectors. 5G deployment is preventing companies from going out of business. Going by the current reports, Samsung and Qualcomm have achieved yet another 5G download speed milestone, now reaching 8.08 .08 gigabytes per second. Companies like Apple and Xiaomi are readily rolling out 5G phones. According to Statista, in 2022, 5G subscriptions are expected to pass 1 billion. This shows how 5G will play a key role in the years to come. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Here's your reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more on the latest technologies and trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.